Vroom, 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 vroom. Squirrel. It's pretty spicy. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Because I looked in my side view mirror and I was like, wait, is that my car? No, that's a sedan. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's neat. I like that. <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog and thank you for tuning in. Today I'm taking my $800 Beater Subaru and completely overhauling it to drive and handle like a modern STI. And the first thing I want to show you are the coil overs. Here we go. Whoa, look at this. Okay, you guys, I'm super excited to show you the Feel 441s. I am so proud to be running these on the Subaru build. I'm so excited. These are such high quality, and the cool thing is these are driver made. These are made by Formula Drift driver, Odie Bakchis. One thing I really want to show you guys is that the rear coilover, the lower mount actually comes with camber adjustability. The coilovers come with spherical bearings in the top mounts, and there's camber adjustability in the rear top mount. That's not something you see that comes standard. Usually coil companies will charge an additional, like two, sometimes $300 just so that you can have camera adjustability in the rear but no these come standard in the GC GD Imprezas so I am beyond excited to be running these if you're interested in buying coilovers support the companies that support me and they're also just a great coilover in general they're gonna give you free shipping if you use the code Amelia that's spelled E-M-E-L-I-A highly recommend it thank you Fuel so much thank you Odie I'm so proud to be running these I'm so excited but these are also for 5x114 so you know what that means time to go to JD California and go pick up our new hubs and Brembo's and Rota and okay let's just go. <laughs> we will be back. <laughs> hey. Sorry. <laughs> All right to JD and California we go. Junior you're listening to the Fast and Furious soundtrack right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey man the lifestyle chose you. You didn't choose it. <laughs> All right, so we've run into a little bit of an issue. I asked David to source the 5x114 2008 Brembos, but what I really needed were the 2007, the 04 to 07, which are the gold Brembos. He doesn't have another set here. I got coilovers to work with 5x114. The guys over at EJ's, they do have a set of 5x100 hub assemblies in the gold Brembos that we do need, but it is 5x100. I kind of wanted to run 5x114. That's what I got the coilovers for. They sell them online for a ridiculous price. Uh, so so I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. We literally have everything. You got the hub assemblies, you got the lowers, you got the axles, you got the lateral links, but I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. How's your day going? I think it's going better than yours. <laughs> this is such a first world problem issue. <laughs> let's see, let's see the final word on the 100s if we can do that. And don't mind all the engines everywhere. David just got a ship it in, so they're organizing still. Wait, hang on. <laughs> So since the last time we've talked, you bought a Prius. Yeah, like the day <laughs> after you got your cat stolen. You bought a Prius and you have a cat protector on your Prius, right? No, don't steal my- It's a cat protector, they can't do it. David also apparently sells Prius engines here. So if you want to get a Prius swap. If I want to swap my Prius, it's going to be an LS. And we'll drag race it and have a good time. You're going to do that to yours now, huh? It might be cheaper than just continuing to buy cats, to be honest. I can't wait to see someone jack up my car, look under it, and be like, what the hell is this? Well, if you ever need a motor, I guess this dude's the plug. Dang, he does have everything on it. Wow. JDM of California. Wait, wait, what'd he say? What'd he say? What'd he say? <laughs> he sold it. He sold them? Yep. Jesse sold them? Yep. He sold the fronts? Yep. You only have the rears. Damn it. All right, that's not going to work. I would stick with the 114 plan. And just wait a week to do it and spend, drop like two Gs. Two Gs I just spent on a Prius cat. <laughs> well, well, here's the thing is you're going to run into what I ran into. Five by 100 wide body wheels. Yeah. You're going to spend two, three grand for a decent set. Just yeah. because find one wheel that's five by 100 that will fit your car. We're literally humoring the idea of if I had to do five by 100, well, cause you do that now with your wide body. The issue is what kind of wheels could I find? And you're like, I know of one. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe uh, two. <laughs> or you could do like me and build a set every two or three years. That's really what you're going to run into. You're not going to be able to find a decent wide body wheel that's, yeah. well, no. 
I can't really think, <laughs> I can't think of anything. Like, you're, I feel like got on my toes a little bit. You're like, well, I was like, I'm listening. <laughs> no. You gotta think like 50100 is what? Corolla, Prius, Scion TC, Subaru WRX, and they're all like 17 by eight, 30 offset or 40 or 50 offset. Like it's just, yeah. And you want to run 60 millimeter flares? Okay, now we're giving away too much, but. <laughs> yeah. I, I th I'm thinking we have to wait. I might have dish out the money. Because the thing is, even if I do more of like a time attack, whatever build, trying to find something that's wide in the 100, that's what's going to be tough. Yeah, I mean, even when I built with those NKs, it took me eight months to source all the parts and stuff. But you also build wheels. I'm not trying to build wheels. <laughs> yeah, and that's really the only option that you would have if you want wide bodies. And even if I do find something, the fact that the 5x114s, the bearings and all that is so much stronger who knows what kind of force it's going to put onto the 5 by 100 bearings and then good luck finding another set when they blow up yeah <laughs> just do right the first time it's not worth the headaches it's also more moolah it's more mo up front but in the long run <laughs> this is true look at you speaking like a true businessman <laughs> no i've just been there done that made a lot of stupid decisions i've witnessed half of them we all go through it seems cheaper in the beginning but it's definitely more lucrative in the long end all right, so here's what we did. David did find some gold Brembos that he had that will work. What he didn't have are the rotors, the knuckles, or the hubs for the year that I'm looking to do. Thank God he was able to find some calipers in the back of the shop. Got them right there next to a little Valentine's Day <laughs> gift box. So I think I'm gonna have to source the knuckles and the hubs and do that a different day. And then also figure out what I'm gonna do for lateral links, trailing arms, and axles. This is, I feel like I'm putting together a jigsaw puzzle. This is, this is fun. Hasta la mañana. Hasta mañana. Cool, I'll see you Take then. Care. Bye. So we found the knuckles and the hubs we need for 5x114 at a scrap yard out an hour and a half from here. So I'm gonna head over there, I'm gonna go pick them up, then I'm gonna come back tomorrow and we're gonna do the install. It just has like a humming sound to it, like a hummingbird. Oh, this Look car. Look at this nice interior. You got a pretty clean Prius here, my friend. Bet you like that air conditioning though, huh? Oh, the Prius air conditioning is nuts. Yeah. This is honestly better than the SUV air conditioning. And that gas mileage. <laughs> I get like 55. It's amazing. Yeah, right? The last daily was 16. Ouch. And premium. Oh God, yeah, you can put the dirt in this. Yeah. <laughs> I am really liking, you know, the Prius is five by 100. You're putting the wheels on, aren't you? I'm thinking about putting the NKs on the Prius. I, I just like, look at it, you guys. Here, pull up a little bit more. Think of like the gold RC NK G4s on the Prius. What do you guys think? Comment below. Should I put the NKs on the Prius? I just might. <laughs> Out of gas, just pulled up here at SoCal Harding. So Sean actually found this place. He was calling around some spots and this is a parts dismantler and they do specifically super stuff and they happen to just get in an 06 STR. Exactly what we need. Feel anymore? No. Yeah, front mount, cob intake, front mount in the cooler. Got the stock stop weight gate, GF39, um, de cut it up pipe, de cut it down pipe, pink injectors, Optimus, full air separator, little, little things. things here and there. Yeah. Yeah. Helps it live a little longer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got Halo headlights too? Yeah. I think these are these ones and they take more. Do you find it spools even it takes even longer to spool with the front mount? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I never I didn't I bought it with the front mount intercooler already on there. That was the, like one of the few things that I had. So when I had the wagon with the stock turbo and the stock intercooler, yeah, yeah it was definitely off first gear threw me back way harder than this one. The question I ask every super owner, what this is the first engine? This is the stock USDM engine with 258,000 miles. Are you no serious? lie. Yeah, no lie. This is the stock USDM what? with 260. How? How many rebuilds have you done? One. One rebuild? That's, that, that's the right question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I bought it, he had it done by Subaru and with all the paperwork. Really? And I bought this for 4,300. Wow. With the rebuilt motor, STI interior, a whole bunch of goodies with it. And I was, I was glad paying the 4,300 for it. I think I'm listing mine too high. I haven't even tried listing it yet, though. <laughs> hey 
Hey, Sean, do you think that guy cheated on his wife? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I want to get a set of stock wheels while we're here in order to put on poop turd so I can keep those egg days. All right, we have 2006 5x114 STI. We got the hubs, we got the knuckles, we got everything we need. <laughs> it was a mission, but we got it. And while we're here, we're also getting an 05 STI steering rack for that tighter driving, handling feel. Yeah. <laughs> and here are the new wheels for poop turd. All right, we got just about everything. Let's spin cut to tomorrow. All right, day two, back at it again. We got all the parts we need. Time to overhaul the son of a fire. Let's get started. All right, we loosened up the top hats on the coilover. We disconnected the linkage to the transmission. Now we're gonna start by just dropping the whole subframe. So to give you guys a good look at the before, look how tiny this is. And I'll show you the after in a second. Let's start dropping. This is so filthy dirty. on Sunfire. Oh, it's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. Yay! <laughs> and it's out! Well, this is the front subframe. The arms, brakes, coilovers, everything. Now we're gonna do the back. Oh! oh, that was a ear piercer. Goodbye, farewell. Looks like you're about to take it behind the building and teach it a lesson. Yeah, now you guys can really see the filth. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is just caked and covered. Look at that. Look how dirty the subframe is, everything. Now that it's in the light, you guys can actually see. But we got a new subframe. We got new just about everything. All right, we had to pull out the back seats for the Uber ca uh, cable and we found a dollar and one cent. Some keys. Those keys look not very important. With and a Joker, Joker card. Some more money. That's a dollar too. Another dollar. So we found two dollars back here. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> and another. Dollar. Oh, there's another. Oh, there's one over there too. I'm slowly, slowly making my money back on the purchase of this vehicle. <laughs> one dollar at a time. How much money can we find in this car? So three dollars okay. and fifty nine cents. We can subtract that from the $800 that I purchased the Subaru for. And we're basically spending about $20,000 to turn this into a $7,000 car. Going up, going up! Is it up? <laughs> Anywho, we have the rear subframe. All right, time to get her out of this way. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So this is interesting, now that we have everything out, this Subaru does actually have a salvage title and we think we found out why it was salvaged, but they never fixed it. It looks like they crashed the car, didn't fix it, and kept the money, which I don't blame them. But you can see there's been, there's a crumple zone here. You can see in here it's kind of crumpled a little bit. Same on this side. And I wonder if this is all where they tried to like paint the front bumper black, which doesn't even match, but you see right there. So I think that's what salvaged the vehicle and they kept it and decided to keep driving it. Oh well. All right, so they're playing music inside. I don't get in trouble for copyright purposes, but we got the STI subframe, the arms, everything. We're gonna power wash them right now to see if we can clean them up nice and pretty. All right, so we got all the STI parts cleaned. Let's go ahead and slap on those subframes. We'll attach the arms and we'll install the new coil levers. And we also got some wheels we'll put on her in the meantime too. So these will be really easy to install. They're just heavy. The steering rack, we're missing a couple bolts in order to mount that, so we're gonna do that later. As far as the fronts, we're missing rotors and pads. So Junior's on the phone with AutoZone right now, and I have Sour Patch Kids in my teeth right now. Then we'll get the coilovers in. Then we gotta put the brake calibers in, and we'll do the lines another time. <laughs> what did AutoZone guy say? 
Okay, tell me it's ready for tomorrow after 12. Tomorrow after 12? Yes. Okay, so it looks like on top of mounting the steering rack and putting in the rotors and the pads, that'll just have to wait until tomorrow. Oh yeah, that looks light. Five pounds? Three pounds? Uh, like <laughs> so out of all of this, as long as we end the day with a rolling chassis, I'm still okay with that. I don't necessarily need brakes or anything like that at the moment, but I do need his rolling chassis. Is that Sean? Hello! Are you still sick? Look yep. at you rocking the merch. I actually love that combo. That was one of my favorite designs on that hoodie with my favorite E-Crew. You rocking both the Ayo Comete and the E-Crew? Thank you. I, I dress myself. <laughs> you gonna, you gonna drop some more of this? Yeah, probably soon. The f what are you guys doing? <laughs> Literally swapping out an entire car for another car and keeping a destroyed body on it. Oh, sick. Yeah. <laughs> like I did on my SRD. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm sitting here looking at the frame of this car. And if you guys watched the video of me buying this car, then you know the one thing I wanted, I don't care if the body was crap, I didn't care about anything. I didn't even care if the engine was blown. The one thing I wanted was a straight frame. So I know I said whatever, but it does kind of suck that I bought a car that in essence is garbage. Like the body's destroyed, the engine was blown. I mean, I definitely didn't help with the nitrous, but um, it does kind of suck that we come to find out that the frame is in fact bent and that it was not fixed. I mean, I would have even been okay with salvaged rebuild but you can definitely, definitely see. And I couldn't see with the engine and everything in it. This is bent. You saw the crumple zone of the corner being smashed in. And I have a feeling that was from front impact here and they tried to fix it up. But the radiator support also looks straight. So maybe they replaced some stuff. I don't know, tough to say. I definitely wasn't expecting to find any hidden damage on this car, but lo and behold. Anywho, we're gonna make this better. And now we're gonna stick the coilovers in. Just about everything, it's been a long day. Proud to say we're now officially five by 114 and we are stealing Elmer's wheels because I didn't even think to bring wheels, so. Those are sick. <laughs> Those are NKs, look at that. He just had them powder coated blue. Sorry, Elmer. <laughs> Jesse's putting them on backwards because he doesn't care, Doug Why? Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Bro, these got Nexons on them too. NKs and Nexon. Damn, guys. They've been hanging out with you. <laughs> now you guys are going full sun backwards. <laughs> yeah, we, we're just parking the car. We don't care about the rotation of the tires. These things look sick. See all the meat sticking out on the back? Dude, I love it. I love that so much. See, kids, always wear eye protection when using a grinder. <laughs> it does look kind of weird with the tires facing the wrong way. But it looks sick. It does look sick. I really like it. I really like this, too. I think you should change directions and do, like, a lifted GC. Now, this may be one of the last times I will see poop turn. I'll be here tomorrow to finish the Brembos on the car because we're not going to get to that because we don't have lines. The rotors and pads come in tomorrow. But these are the wheels that I will be selling her on. We will be replacing the intercooler. I think this is a great buy. The listing is in the description in the bio below. I finally did it. She's for sale. You guys are watching this video and you know who I am. Uh, my asking is not a firm price. The other Craigslist people are gonna talk me the hell down. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be the one selling the car, but just, just let us know that you're from the channel and we'll talk, we'll talk. Man, oh man. Gonna miss this girl. It was fun while it lasted. This is gonna be sick and this is only the beginning, but full overhaul. We now have SDI suspension. Thank you so much, Feel, for being a part of this build. I am incredibly excited and I'm so excited to drive Sunfire for the first time, see how she handles. I also wanna give a huge thank you to EJ's Auto. They are located in the Ontario area. If anyone needs help with anything Subaru, JDM, they had a Dodge in here earlier. They do it all, highly recommend these guys. I think we're gonna wrap up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. E-Crew, we out here. With love. Bye. <laughs>
air high fives. <laughs> Thank up? you.